Okay, so today we're going to get Windows 95 working on iBox on Android. So I've just started up the application for the first time. Uh, it's just trying to boot from a floppy disk now. So uh, what we're going to do is press the back button to get into settings. Then we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to drives. We're going to go to boot sequence and change that to disk. So that it boots from the hard disk. Then we're going to go to hard disk, the hard disk at the top. Just uh, click the search button then, uh, browse to the folder that's got the hard disk image in. So in my case it's the SDL folder, select the C.img file, just click select here, it's done. Uh, then we're going to need to go back and back again. And we're going to go to configuration, manual config, edit config. Then we're going to edit the config, and on the line where it says ATA0 master type, we're going to take that mode flat off and the comma, press done, press save, save again, and then go back, and then we need to quit the application. So we go to quit, and then we'll go to the WinImage homepage, uh, download uh, the latest version of WinImage, uh, the link's in the description. Then just run that download, and then we'll get that installed. Just click next, go through the installation, run that as administrator. Okay, and then we'll go to open image. And we'll find that c.img file that we downloaded. Just got to go to my downloads folder, select the c.img, make sure the only partition there is selected, it will be by default. And then we've got the img file there. So then on WinImage, you can go to inject, select the files you want to inject, you can select multiple files by holding down the control key and then go to file save and then quit okay so now we're going to get some drivers working and get some sound get some uh, super vga graphics uh, so what i've done is recopied over the image to my phone so i've got to reset all this up now so we'll just go to boot sequence like we did before go to disk change the hard disk image to our c.img go to the folder press select and go back and go to configuration manual config, edit config do the same as we did before Just up to that comma and clean that comma. Save and then restart the app. Quit. Yep. So now it's booting Windows 95. Yeah, we get this every time. Scan disk, joys of Windows 95. Wait for that to boot. So then I've got these files that I've copied over that I'll include in the all files that I use in these videos. I'll include in the description. Uh, there'll be a link to download them. Uh, so we've got WinRAR on there at the moment. So that's WinRAR 2.7.1. So that's working and it's everlasting evaluation so then we need to install the SVGA driver so we're going to the uni folder that you can download from the description you see the INF file in there so we go to start settings control panel 
and then we'll go to system device manager open up display adapters double click on the standard VGA adapter go to driver go to update driver just click yes is fine I'll try searching floppy in <laughs> so yeah I click other location go to browse uh, browse to that folder that you downloaded earlier that you opened earlier into the uni folder press ok press ok again and finish then press ok then browse and go back to that folder again into the uni folder press ok make sure you get the uni folder selected press ok ok again Yep, restart the computer is fine. And then we can go into display. into settings and we can change the resolution all the way up to 128 over 1024 but I probably don't advise it uh, unless you're using it on a tablet or something because on a mobile phone it's a little bit too small so uh, bear that in mind you'll see it now though I just went to no for that I don't want to display uh, specify a monitor just click OK and yep, OK again. But that's just a little bit too small for me. So I dropped it down to 1024 by 768. Press apply again, OK. There we go, it's a bit better. So, yep. And we can up the colour palette up to 24 bit as well. So just do the same to that apply it without restarting ok and yep and uh, as you can see it's all good looking good so uh, now we want to install the Sound Blaster 16 driver so I needed to install WinRAR but uh, <laughs> I thought against doing that at the time but yeah it's installed the Sound Blaster driver it will blow its load all over that folder <laughs> And then just double click that uh, file at the bottom there. And that just updates the Windows driver database and then uh, Windows will properly recognize the driver for it. And once we restart you will be able to hear the sound although you won't be able to hear the sound. Shall I dub it over the top? I think I'll dub it over the top. <laughs> it didn't record it, so... So now I'm going to copy it over Doom 95 to see if we get anywhere with that. So 
uh, we go to file open in win image again we go to file and inject fault or disk image is that I can't remember an insert folder then we're just going to select the folder uh, press yes and it's going to add the contents into your image folder just select file save exit that so then we're going to give Windows, uh, Doom 95 a try so we navigate over to C drive Ooh. <laughs> it's got the autorun.inf on the C drive, root of the C drive, so it's automatically started up with Windows. Look at that. Can we install? MIDI's working. I've had this problem on PC before. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? 
Let us know how they went. 